Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be talking about sorting arrays. Specifically we're going to use the uh, reverse sort. So we're going to sort it from you know descending to ascending. Uh, Array.sort is to send, you know, sort it ascending to descending. And then we're going to talk about the for each statement. Before we dive in, I wanted to go ahead and, you know, hopefully, you know, we're starting to take off these training wheels and, and talk about the MSDN library once again. Let's just say you were curious and you wanted to know, you know, after this lesson, what else can you do with an array? So we'll just type in array here and system array. And things will be a lot more clear and we'll actually understand what's going on. I know that last time, you know, we didn't know some of this stuff. So let's see here. We understand what properties are. We understand what methods are. We'll just go ahead and search on the reverse array. Uh, let's see, reverses the sequence of the elements in entire one-dimensional array. So we know that this works in an array. We just type, you know, array.reverse. Uh, we can see it's a public method. It's a static member, so it works on the class and not an object. Uh, supported by the XNA framework, which is just a gaming framework. And let's just say we don't know what uh, portable class library is. So we'll just go up here. Portable class library. And we can click on that and we can see. The portable class library project enables you to write and build managed assemblies that work on more than one .NET framework platform. So you can go ahead and read all about this stuff if, if you wanted to. But again, um, you know, everything that you really need to know right now is going to be on the MSDN. So I'm going to close this and we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, we're on lesson 25. We're just using, you know, essentially recycling a lot of this code again. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run this so we can see exactly what's happening. When we've created a one-dimensional array with 10, uh, you know, 10 ints inside of it, and you know, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So it's in, uh, you know, ascending order. That's why we're using reverse instead of sort. So let's go ahead. And we'll just do a console right line just so we have a space, and now what we'll do is um, we're going to go ahead and sort this array. So we'll use the array.reverse, and then we just put in the array name, my int array. Okay, and now what we can do is we'll just copy this, paste this, and before we run this, we're going to have to comment out or, or delete that because otherwise we're going to reverse it and then when we iterate through this we're just going to assign it right before we um, you know right before we output it to the screen so we'll run this and you can see we've just you know reversed the order of the values in the array pretty cool stuff so now what is uh you know basic so what is this for each well for each is uh, pretty easy so what we do we just type for each Okay, and let's see what type is this. It's an int, int i in. Let's see, this is my int array. Console dot right line value equals i. Okay, so and then we'll go ahead and run this, and you can see now we have uh, the values. So. Um, basically, for each, we'll automatically pull, uh, you know, the, the container or, or the, the value, um, and you don't have to actually use that uh, index reference. Uh, so that's that's pretty neat. But if you do want to use, uh, you know, the, the index reference by, you know, placing the value in the uh, index operator, which is this thing right here, uh, you can't use that for each. But again, if you just want to grab the values and you don't need to know about uh, or don't care about, you know, using or referencing the index, uh, you can use this for each. So pretty standard stuff. Well, uh, hopefully uh, you learned a lot with today's lesson. I'm hoping we're starting to, again, like I said, take off the uh, the training wheels, training wheels, so to speak. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, visit us at www.nextrtv. And have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.